What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, not breaking any boxes, because we got a big mail day. Tons of stuff came in in the last few weeks, or actually maybe a month. It's been a while since we've done a full mail day like this. I know we did the card hobby mail day not too long ago, but this is everything else that came from eBay and otherwise. So we got a lot of packages to get through, so let's get right to them in the back. Those cards, you will see them. We'll reference them later on. In the mail day, but our first package, if you looked at the, uh, the thumbnail in the description for this video, you'll see that this is uh, the very first non-sport card I've ever bought. So what am I, non-sport stuff am I buying? A Fred Armisen auto as Raul from his character on Parks and Recreation. That was an awesome show. And not necessarily this specific character, but in general, I'm just a huge fan of Fred Armisen. And um, I've been seeing these for a while. Actually, the first time I saw this was when I went to the National and Atlantic City in, what was that, 2022, I think. And I've wanted one of these ever since then. And I kind of kept seeing them go by on, on eBay every now and again. And finally, I saw someone post one that wasn't a crazy price. And I, I made an offer and he accepted it. So uh, hopefully I will not be sent to Yale after uh, now that I have this card. So... Very cool, first non-sport card in my PC. And we got a big Avdia Avalanche. So tons of Denny cards coming in. This one is from 2022 Optic. This is the Copper Glitter to 99. This is a retail exclusive. And generally I try and stick, I'm not, I'm not going after full rainbows and I know this isn't like a really, a jersey color match or anything like that. But I do like retail parallels that are not easy to find. Um, I think I opened, I opened a bunch of Optic. I think I pulled one of these. It was like a Chris Paul or something like that. Um, but generally, if I can find a nice retail parallel that doesn't pop up too often for a good price, I'll add that. Um, we got more. So here's another perfect, perfect example of that. Uh, retail parallel from the newest Donruss set. This is 2023-24 Donruss. So you'll be seeing lots of like Donruss hoops and prism parallels. Optic for 2023 is not out yet. But this is the blue green uh, hollow laser, and it's numbered out of, it's really hard to see, numbered out of 35. Uh, so, partial jersey color match with the blue on top. Uh, again, retail parallel number to 35. Got that nice and cheap, and those are not gonna be easy to find, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, next one, we got another probably cheap retail parallel. Yep, there we go. This is a, get out of this card saver from 2023 hoops blue explosion so this is a exclusive to retail boxes these are numbered out of 90 or no 59 i had it upside down i will say that some of these they're changing the way they're changing the font they use on some of these you can see the font on that one looks a little bit different than the font on this one i think this looks like the original font they always use for serial numbered cards some of them are different i'm not sure what uh, what Panini is doing with how they're numbering these. Another hoops. This is a orange explosion. So this is a fat pack exclusive. Not sure I even have any orange explosions of Denny from the other years. So saw this pop up, made sure I grabbed it. 25 out of 25. And I think we got another, yeah, another hoops here. There we go. Uh, if you missed last week's video, recently just opened up a uh, one of these team all. Asia hoops boxes for 23, 24. So finally opened one of these and this is the, I didn't pull any golds unfortunately out of the box that I ripped and I'll fix that tape later. <laughs> but this is from the, the team all boxes. This is numbered out of 10. This one's four out of 10. So just a little bit of a different look. Uh, the team all parallels all have this hyper pattern to them. So pretty cool there. Another Short printed Denny. I think we got some more. We got some Prism stuff now. Okay, this is actually a really hard to find card. This is not numbered. It's the Hyper Blue from 2021 Prism. No serial number on the back. These were included in the 2021 um, Target factory sealed sets. Every one of those sets had a one, one pack that only had five cards in it. And in each of those packs had one of each color. I think there's like red, uh, blue, um, green maybe. I'm kind of blanking on what the other hyper colors were, um, but I've never seen this one ever uh, for sale. So as soon as I saw it for sale, I grabbed it. Uh, I'm still working on the Alonzo Morning Rainbow for this year. 
and I have never really found any of these hyper factory set parallels. They're just complete ghosts. They're probably most of them are still sitting in those boxes that no one is opening, but someone opened one, got this Denny Blue. So really cool, rare card there that's rarely seen, very hard to find. All right, I think we got some, all right, now we got some Prism Parallels for this year. So again, trying to stick to mostly color match stuff and some other cool parallels. This is the Red, Par Red Power, it's kind of a checkerboard pattern, um, but they call it Red Power. This was, I think, a football parallel that they moved, that they also included in basketball uh, last year and they included again this year, number to 75, Red Power. There we go. Got some more Prism. So this is Mojo, again, not necessarily a uh, jersey color match, but I do like the Mojo Parallels. Numbered out of 25, really nice hobby exclusive. And next one, what do we got in here? There we go. First off the line, Blue Shimmer. This one is numbered to 35. I got this for $1.25 plus shipping. So very happy with the price on that one. More Denny stuff, oh, there we go. <laughs> And I put, I put this in exactly the same way I got it. Gold Shimmer, numbered out of 10, not even in a, a top loader, just in a penny sleeve. And it just it was packed exactly this way in the package that just opened. So I'm sure it was jostling around in there, bumping around um, during shipping. But luckily, doesn't look like it's damaged. This one's numbered out of 10. Again, first off the line, exclusive parallel, just like the blue shimmer here. Um, but man, Really, really lucky that there was no damage or anything on this. It looked pretty clean as far as everything I could tell. Um, maybe I'll take a closer look at the corners and stuff like that just to make sure. I'm not going to grade it anyway, but very happy that there was no significant damage being shoved in a, a big uh, bubble mailer that's not wasn't really padded and didn't really have any uh, anything besides a penny sleeve. So pretty lucky that one's not damaged. Um, and I think we just got a few more Denny cards here. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Red Seismic. This is the Blaster exclusive. I, if you saw the Mail David video we did probably a month ago, I already bought one of these. Uh, but the reason I got another one, jersey number nine out of two ninety nine. It's always really cool to get jersey number cards. Personally, I do like them. Um, but even cooler when you can get a jersey numbered card on a higher print card. Um, I know like I have an Alonzo Morning card that's numbered to $9.99 and it's 33 out of $9.99. Uh, but this one being $2.99, this might be my highest numbered jersey parallel that I have of Denny. So that's a pretty cool one there. So add that to the stack of prism parallels. I think we got one more prism parallel in here. This one was protected very nicely. Let's rip some of this tape off. And let's just try and pull this out. There we go. Okay. This is not the card I bought. Jimmy Butler, Keegan Murray. Okay. Got, oh, Max Christie, silver. All right. Got through him some nice freebies. Um, but the real card I wanted was this white. This was a new parallel they added for 2023. Really clean. Like the white parallel a lot. They have some white parallels and parallels select that look really nice. So it's cool that they added them to Prism. And... Nine out of 175, another jersey number on a very high, uh, high numbered, uh, high serial numbered card. So pretty cool, two jersey numbers there. And we got one more really cool card. All right, SGC7, but nine out of 199. So another jersey numbered parallel, which was strange. I think they put the wrong, I think SGC slabbed this wrong. I don't really care about the grade at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna crack this lab and just put this in my binder with all my other Denny rookies anyway. I already had one of these, um, but I just had a random number. I didn't have the jersey number parallel, so got this slab for ten bucks. So because it was only a seven, I got it for less than the cost that it would have would have cost to grade it. Um, but one thing I noticed is that this says silver. This is not the silver parallel. This is the premium box set parallel. They're, it's confusing. They're both they both look similar. They're both numbered to one ninety nine. But the premium box set, uh, I think ha it has this, uh, the name and these little lines here are gold, whereas opposed to silver, they're just silver. And the shine is a little different. You can see like the shine kind of has these lines coming down through on it as you move the card. The regular silver, um, that's the pack pulled version in Hobby, 
just has like a regular kind of general shine all over the card, not these specific lines that the premium box set has. So I think it's mislabeled, doesn't matter to me. Jersey number rookie, nine out of 199. And again, from rookie cards, this might be my highest numbered uh, jersey number parallel for all of his rookies. So a bunch of cool Denny stuff there. I think we got one more to the Avdia Avalanche. Yep, another hoops rookie. This is the teal, numbered out of 70. I always think it's funny too when I get jersey number cards for other players I collect. So 33 is Alonzo Morning's number. So not really anything for this card, but for me, I think it kind of it's kind of funny to to get stuff like that. I don't remember even which product these teals to 70 were in, but I didn't have this in my on the hoops pages of my Denny rookie binder. So added that didn't get any really huge Denny cards because his prices were kind of spiking. They've gone down a lot since then, so I'll probably get some more bigger stuff pretty soon. But all the stuff was kind of smaller uh, in this mail day. Um, we got some set chase stuff now for 2012 Elite. Jordan Crawford, no, not Jamal Crawford, Jordan Crawford. I've never even heard of this guy. I'm at the point now where I, um, I'm having to try and set up individual searches, uh, save searches on eBay for guys like this that I can't find on eBay, can't find on ComC, can't find anywhere. Uh, setting up some new eBay searches to see if I can get some of these random guys uh, that I still need to complete the set. So there's one right there. I think this one is, might be multiple cards in here, yeah. So this was from the same seller that had both of these, Alan Anderson and Carlos Delfino. I don't think, yeah, it was just those two cards in there, uh, just shoved in the same top loader. Um, but again, just kind of random names like this. I'll, you'll be seeing a lot of these pop up in future mail days. Here is another one from Franklin's Sports Cards. Another big batch of Vets, Gortat, and some rookies too. Jan Vesely, rookie for the uh, Wizards. Drew Gooden, Shane Battier, real important player for those Heat teams. Derek Favors, and Kirk Heinrich. So, bunch more to add to the add to the binder, and also got a few cards for the insert sets that I'm still chasing. We got. A Kyrie Elite Series rookie, number to 199. Man, I'm sure everyone watching this video has seen that uh, that, game, that game winner he had the other day. That sort of lefty floater over Jokic was incredible. One of the most amazing shots I've ever seen. But needed this one for the rookie set. Um, I think I have most of the big name rookies from this. I need, I'm still missing a couple. I think I need like Dame, Beal, maybe Clay. So a few big ones I'm still missing for that insert set, but hopefully I can continue to track those down. And another elite insert set here. This is one that I'm not even close to completing the set and the cards are very expensive, but I will still buy them when I can. Ray Allen, Class Masters, very cool. Number to 99. So again, no parallels on this set. All the cards are numbered to 99. There's some really big names in this set. I know guys like Kobe, Steph, LeBron sell for a ton. I think the last Kobe I saw sell was like $1,000. So who knows if I'll ever get that one, but maybe one day, maybe one day I'll finish that set. So a lot of nice progress though on the other cards. Um, so almost done here. There's a few more, a few more PC cards. We got, if I can get this out, Ginobili, Hoops, Green, Checkerboard, number to 149. This is my only Ginobili card in this entire mail day. I, har I don't hardly ever have mailed this without any Gin uh, Ginobili stuff. This is the only one, but stay tuned for the next mail day, which hopefully is gonna be coming in a couple weeks. I got some monster Ginobili cards coming uh, in that mail day. So I'm excited for that one already. All right, we got a few Zoe cards now. We'll close off with these, saving the biggest one for the end. This is Top Stadium Club first day issue. And this one's numbered to 150. So I actually had the, there's a bunch of parallels like this for these stadium club years. There's the regular stadium club set and then there's a stadium club chrome set. I actually already had the stadium club chrome first day issue, which was numbered to 100. And the regular paper set first day issue is numbered to 150. So the chrome first day issues are a little bit shorter printed. And again, hopefully stay tuned for another card hobby mail day. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for them to ship me more cards, but I got another big card kind of similar to that coming pretty soon. 
All right, just a few more cards now. And this one we got, let's see. Ugh. All right. Zoe, rookie auto, and I threw this one up here. So back in the 90s when guys like Zoe were rookies, rookie autographs were not really a thing. Um, no NBA sets had any pack issued rookie card or autographed rookie cards or really autographed cards of any kind uh, for that matter in the early 90s. I already had this one. This is numbered out of 975. You can see these were all hand numbered. Uh, it's at 170 out of 975. And it's kind of tough to see his auto, sort of in thin blue ink on a dark background. Can't really see it all that well. But uh, this is one of his only true, I think this was a pack pulled card. This classic four sports set, you could pull autos out of there. Um, but it was tough to pull the bigger names. Yeah, classic games autograph card. Um, Zoe was to 975. I think Shaq was only numbered to like 350. Pretty much every other player um, was higher numbered and easier to pull. The, the better names were short printed. And Zoe being the number two pick in the draft that year was one of the ones people were chasing. So there was that one to 975. And then there's this one that I actually didn't have yet. This is numbered out of 1993 uh, from the same set. You can see there's a stamp here that says Super Bowl card show. There must have been some promotional thing they were doing at the Super Bowl right after this at the beginning of 93. Um, so again, it says for promotional purposes only. This was not a pack pulled card, uh, but it was a Zoe autograph, rookie autograph that I didn't have yet. Um, so I wanted to make sure I added this one before it got, not that it got too late. You know, I, I'm sure I would always be able to find <laughs> one of those, um, but it was still cool to be able to add that. All right, last package here, really cool Zoe card. And I threw this up in the background. If anyone missed the uh, consolidation uh, video series I've been I've been doing for guys like Kobe and, and I also did Alonzo Morning one. Sold uh, a bunch of Alonzo Morning cards to get the funds to pay for this one. 97 finest embossed gold refractor numbered out of 74. So probably I'd say probably his best 90s refractor. Um, I don't know if it really gets any better than this. Um, but the good news was that when I did that consolidation project, I made enough money selling cards that I was able to pay myself back for buying this one and I had enough money left over to buy one more card. So not only did that consolidation project pay for that, it also paid for this. So I got two really, really cool rare cards out of that project. And this one is a 2001 Topps Chrome Black Refractor numbered out of 50. 14 out of 50. And man, this looks clean. I'm going to take a closer look after the video, but centering looks awesome. Maybe just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit heavy on the right. Um, but for the most part, I don't know, it looks really close. It looks almost 50-50 all the way around. Yeah, maybe teeny, teeny, teeny bit heavy on the right. Little skinny on the left, but super, super close to being fully centered all the way around. I gave it a quick look over when I first got it. I didn't see any surface issues. Um, corners and edges look nice, so this could be a grading candidate. And there are no PSA 10s in existence of this card. There's only, I think, maybe two nines, uh, no 10s. So not banking that I would get a 10 on this. Probably not, probably more like a nine. Uh, but still, would be really cool to have this card in a high grade. Um, so before this uh, was released in 2001, Topps Chrome didn't have any serial numbered parallels of their refractors. They just had the base cards and they, did, they had the refractors and that was it. But this year they started adding some, or not some, but only one numbered parallel. I think there was just the black and that was it. In future years, they added a lot more obviously, but being the first black refractor, the first serial numbered Topps Chrome refractor uh, from a playing days card of, of Zoe, pretty important card in my opinion. So I've been looking for one of these for a long time. So very happy that I was finally able to add that to the PC and that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next video.